Greetings, fellow explorers of history. Prepare to embark on a riveting voyage through time as we delve into the harrowing account of the Achille Lauro cruise ship hijacking. In 1985, the tranquil Mediterranean waters transformed into a stage of chaos and courage. Join us as we unveil the layers of this gripping narrative, uncovering the complexities and showcasing the incredible acts of bravery that emerged. Our journey begins with a crucial context. The 1980s Middle East was marred by the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, a long-standing and deeply rooted struggle for territory and identity. The echoes of history reverberated across the region, creating a volatile atmosphere where every action carried political weight. As the Achille Lauro set sail from the picturesque port of Genoa, Italy, the passengers and crew had no inkling that their voyage would intersect with these geopolitical undercurrents. Little did they know that their ship's path would lead to a tragic event that would etch itself into the annals of history, October 7, 1985. The Achille Lauro, a majestic vessel known for its luxury and elegance, embarked on its journey with around 700 souls on board. Yet, Beneath the veneer of opulence, a group of four members from the Palestinian Liberation Front plotted their takeover. Swiftly and with precision, they hijacked the ship, revealing firearms and grenades. The transformation was abrupt and chilling, as this once serene haven became a cauldron of fear and panic. The passengers and crew found themselves thrust into a tumultuous ordeal of captivity, held hostage by the hijackers' political agenda. As the hijackers assumed control, the Achille Lauro metamorphosed into a floating theater of terror. Denied entry at various ports due to the heightened security risk, the ship meandered aimlessly through the Mediterranean waters. What followed was an excruciating period of uncertainty and anxiety. The world watched in horror as the tragedy of Leon Klinghoffer unfolded before their eyes. An innocent American passenger confined to a wheelchair was brutally murdered. His body was callously thrown overboard, an act of violence that sent shockwaves across the globe. The depths of this inhumanity compounded the profound gravity of the situation, forever marking this event as one of infamy. In the shadows of this crisis, diplomats and world leaders embarked on a high-stakes chess game of negotiations. The challenge, how to secure the release of hostages while navigating the intricate labyrinth of extremist demands. The public saw only the tip of the iceberg, unaware of the intricate dance of diplomacy unfolding behind the scenes. These negotiations were far from straightforward as they involve delicate communication channels, complex cultural considerations, and the overarching imperative to safeguard human lives. Every move was a calculated risk, a balancing act between appeasing terrorists and protecting the innocent. As tensions escalated and the world held its breath, the Israeli government considered an audacious plan reminiscent of the iconic 1976 Operation Onteb. This bold strategy aimed to execute a daring military rescue operation, mirroring the audacity displayed in the face of grave danger. The mere formulation of such a plan underscored the meticulous planning, unwavering commitment, and calculated risks that define high-stakes operations of this nature. The potential for success was weighed against the potential consequences, and ultimately, the decision was taken to prioritize the safety of the hostages. Days turned into an agonizing waiting game, as the Achille Lauro crisis reached its crescendo in Port Said, Egypt. The hijackers finally surrendered, marking the end of a traumatic chapter. The emotions were a mix of relief and grief, as the world had witnessed the agony and uncertainty faced by those aboard the ship. This resolution was a testament to the power of diplomacy, international collaboration, and the relentless pursuit of a peaceful resolution in the face of adversity.
It served as a reminder that even the darkest of circumstances can be navigated through cooperation and tenacity. The legacy of the Achille Lauro hijacking rippled far beyond its immediate aftermath. It prompted a comprehensive re-evaluation of maritime security protocols, prompting tighter regulations and coordination among nations. The incident was a wake-up call for the global community, reminding them of the vulnerabilities present in open waters. Additionally, the tragic demise of Leon Klinghoffer acted as a catalyst for global discussions about disability rights. The horrifying nature of his murder forced societies to introspect and ensure the dignity and rights of differently abled individuals, sparking a renewed commitment to inclusivity and respect. As the Achille Lauro crisis reached its resolution, the spotlight turned to the fate of the hijackers who had instigated this terrifying ordeal. Following their surrender in Port Said, Egypt, the hijackers were taken into custody by Egyptian authorities. Subsequently, they faced an international legal process that would determine the consequences of their actions. After months of legal proceedings and negotiations, the hijackers were eventually tried in Italy. The trial highlighted the complexities of international law and the challenges of prosecuting individuals involved in acts of terrorism on the high seas. The trial's outcome served as an important precedent, setting the stage for how the international community would address similar incidents in the future. Ultimately, the hijackers were convicted of their crimes. However, due to the complex legal landscape and diplomatic considerations, the sentences they received were relatively lenient compared to the severity of their actions. This outcome sparked debates about the efficacy of international legal frameworks in dealing with acts of terrorism and piracy, prompting discussions on the need for stronger and more unified approaches to prosecuting such crimes. As we reflect on the Achille Lauro hijacking, we're reminded that history is not a mere chronicle of events, but a tapestry woven from the threads of humanity's triumphs and trials. If this expedition through time has resonated with you, we encourage you to like and subscribe. Join us on our ongoing journey through the annals of history, where each story serves as a mirror to our shared human experience. With appreciation for your company, we bid you adieu for now. Stay tuned as we continue to navigate the waters of history, unveiling stories that have shaped the course of our collective narrative.